Yo, what's up guys, it's Nate here. So, I already have my first match here against uh, Shen He, Shen Hei. I think like the Y is silent or I don't even know. But anyways, I'm pretty sure this guy runs Sparky. I'm not too sure which variant he usually runs. Like last time I saw, he usually runs a minor minion horde, like this bait version of Sparky, but he plays a Dark Prince. So it could be like the Rage version, could be the one I was just talking about, could be the one with the Lightning. He goes for Gob, Gob Giant here, but I'm still not sure. He still needs to play more cards. So I think I'll just assume it's the Rage one. Hopefully it's not Lightning, because I am I mean, I'm gonna play my Tesla just in the normal position. If it is Lightning, that'd be really unfortunate. He also goes for Mega Minions, so let's go East Spirit High. It looks like it is Lightning, so I'm gonna be forced to rock at this. I think he's still gonna get like, yeah, basically 1000 damage, just because I didn't know which variant he, he had, which is really unfortunate. So that'll put us down like 600 damage, but I think we should be okay here. I know you just say like Sparky is usually like a really good matchup, like even if they have a big spell, unless like they have Earthquake, then I feel like that'll change. But he does have Lightning, so really, like I said, really unfortunate start, but I don't think it's like too bad to where like we can still come back. So he does go for Sparky in the back, so I'm not back to my rocket, so I can just go for a log. I think now I can probably just cycle Tesla in the middle once again, kind of just in the same position, because I know he, he doesn't cycle to Lightning that fast. So he does have a Sparky coming down, but I don't think he's going to support it. So it looks, looks like he's just going to reset here. So let's see, I'm just going to wait a little bit, go East Spirit last second. Hopefully my Tesla's still targeted on the Sparky. Looks like it is, so I can just go for Dark Prince in the back. He's going to go for a really aggressive Gob Giant. I can go Deliver to the side and then go for a low log. I'm going to let the Hunter target on my Tesla first. And it looks like Hunter doesn't even get a shot off. So I do have a really nice counter push coming down the lane. So I'm going to go minor to the side here. I know he's probably going to Mega Minion this, which is fine. And parts of both reset here once again. I know he's back to Lightning, but I know that even if he Lightnings, he won't be able to go, go Gob Giant. So it's those Skeletons in the back. And parts go Dark Prince as well, see what he's going to do. Alright, and he's rolling down 200 damage. So he does go for Hunter in the back. I am tempted to rock that. I think I will. But it's actually perfect timing because when they go Rocket, he goes Lightning. So that means he's not able to go in with the... For the, um, the Gob Giant because he won't be able to Lightning. So again, I can go test the middle. So I just go for a Long and start Prince and then go Skeletons. Or I shouldn't really need Skeletons. But it's like he's gonna go Spark at the back here. I'm actually not gonna rocket that. I'm gonna see if he wants to play anything into the lane that I'm pushing into. Those are Mega Minions, so I actually think I'm gonna rocket that. I do have a Dark Prince coming down, so he can't really go in. Or not yet, anyways. He might try to go opposite lane, but that won't really do anything. It looks like he's probably just gonna. Yeah, I go Gob Giant one lane, so I'm gonna go Log first and go test to the side. I think that'll bring over the Gob Giant. He might Lightning this. Let's see, he's gonna Snowball, so it looks like... I guess he didn't want Lightning, my naked Tesla, because that would've got no value. And you guys can see that we're, already, we're actually already in like a huge damage lead once again. Especially if he lets his East Brick connect. Looks like he won't. But we're still up 900 damage. So I don't really see a way of him breaking through with like a minute and 45 seconds left. So go for Skeletons for the Dark Prince. Let's see, um, probably just gonna play safe here, go Dark Prince in the back. I know he's probably gonna go Gob Giant on, like, he could probably go either lane, but probably the Magnet lane. So just gonna rock at this, because I know I have an easy response for the Sparky. Can I just go Skeleton Log, or just go Delivery Log? So let's see. Let's go Skeletons, and I don't think he might just try and snowball this. I actually don't mind laying that Spark hit, even if it does. It looks like it doesn't even hit. And you can see that he still hasn't found a way to break through. You can see how kind of easy the matchup is. Like, it doesn't really matter which vein of Sparky it is. But like I told you guys, as long as your opponent doesn't have, like, Earthquake or something, like Earthquake, Zap, Mirror, Graveyard, I think you should be okay here. So I'm actually going to mine in the back here. I don't think he's going to support this Sparky, because if he does, it just gives me value. So it looks like he's not going to. So I can just go for Rocket on the Mega Minion. So I can go for Naked Lightning. But again, it's not going to do anything. Go for Skeletons, be safe. He does predict. But I can just go for Rocket, and this should be GG. I used to see how kind of easy it is to be Sparky, like I said before. And you used to Shenhei. And I'll probably just see you guys in the next match, or whenever I find one. Alright, guys, looks like we're finally taking a match here against uh, Boba for Squivix. So I'm pretty sure I've actually faced this guy before. This guy actually runs uh, Lava, like Skelly Drags, that like I Drag version with Loon, Minor, Double Arrows. Oh man, looks like it was Lava first play. I can't really say I'm surprised. So just gonna go Dark Prince Tusk, I mean Dark Prince uh, Skeletons. I'm not back to my Tesla yet, so I have to cycle to the cycle to it. So it looks like he's gonna defend with Skelly Drags. So let's see, just gonna go for E Spear here, then just go for Tesla. Okay, never mind. Looks like he goes for an I Drag. I'm pretty sure that was at zero elixir, so I can just go for a Rocket. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes like Loon Miner here. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit. 
definitely not gonna go opposite lane because he just sack and attack and I just lose my tower. Let's see, I think my delivery should be on time like right now. I think it pups, yeah, should pop. So pretty much a perfect delivery. I think it goes for minor here, so I go Tuz in the middle to bring over the loon. And I go for skeletons. If he zaps here, I'm definitely gonna go Dark Prince because I know that zaps at zero elixir. And I don't think he, he shouldn't have enough elixir for barbs. So I think my Dark Prince here will get a lot of damage. I know his loon will get that damage, but I feel like the damage that I'm gonna get will be a lot more. And looks like it does. So let's see, he does play Skelly Drag, so let's go for E Spirit once again. I don't think we'll play anything else on it because that'd be an overcommit. So I'm not really too sure about this matchup. I know with Inferno it's mine. I feel like with Tesla, again guys, if you simp for your Tesla, then I feel like you can win this matchup definitely. But he, I, but then again, he did attack and attack my Dark Prince when he went live first play. So I don't think this guy's very good. So I'm gonna go Minor Skeletons. Actually perfect timing because he does go Lava in the back. He also goes for Eye Drag here. And let's see, I'll probably just go Dark Prince opposite because I know I can probably take his tower with like a Minor Log or just like a Minor E-Spirit Log. So just gonna go Dark Prince opposite again, just apply pressure. Like whichever lane they go Lava in guys, you always want to apply pressure opposite lane. Never go same lane because you're basically just giving, giving them a counter push. So I'm actually just gonna go Rocket on his Eye Dragon Lava. His lava should be dead, hopefully soon, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Let's see, I'm just going to mine in the back preemptively for his own miner. I think I will catch it, and then I can also go for delivery on his loon. He does go for a really late zap, so not much he can do here. I think that loon will get death damage, at the, like at the most it should. So let's see if it will. So like, he definitely will take my tower off the lane, that's why I'm going Dark Prince opposite. So let's see, I'm actually not going to let him take my tower so easily. He's going to force him to overcome more and more looks on it. So just go for his split skellies and then go for Tesla on the skelly drags. If he goes to an opposite lane, I can really just rock it. So I'm actually gonna go Dark Prince here. Okay, let's see. I, okay, I'm gonna go minor opposite to take his tower. Mm, okay, gonna go log to confirm it. And he also goes for arrows and zaps. So I'm actually just gonna be cheeky and just go for a Tesla, uh, Tesla E Spirit. I want him to commit more looks on it. I'm gonna go skeletons and we're gonna go for delivery just to kill everything. He does go for um, eye drag, so I know he's gonna be forced to play arrows as zero elixir probably, or like low elixir anyways. So he's forced to play zap here, so I can go for e spirit. He's just chained on his eye drag to reset, and my my dark prince also got two hits. So the question is, will he go lava in the pocket? I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Okay, he does, but I guess I predicted that, so I'm gonna go Tesla just to kill his eye drag first, and Tesla will also lock on his um his lava. So just gonna go delivery e spirit to kill the skelly drags. I feel like those are like more of a threat, and then just go for minor. I can also go print of log for his barbs, and he's gonna play them. It's perfect. I'm pretty sure he's gonna need to play more in that dark on uh, that dark prince. So he's also go for a minor. But you guys see that Marty back in their dark prince. I have a full HP dark prince coming on my field. So he does go for eye drag here. So let's see. I'm probably gonna play Tesla in front of my tower once again. I'm gonna go e spirit to reset the eye drag. He's gonna be forced to play arrows. So I guess well played on his end, but not really much you can do here. As long as I don't choke this, like his last couple of defenses, that should be okay here. So triple elixir is around the corner, guys. Like three seconds away. But we're right back to a double Tesla. And I feel like double Tesla will really just win me the game from this. So let's see. He does go minor, so I need to wait. So hopefully this delivery e spirit chains on the Skelly Drags. Okay, it looks like it won't, so I need to go back to one very fast. But you see, I'm already back to another delivery. Even if he goes lava, I can just go delivery right now. This should hit everything. It's perfect. Unfortunate that the Tesla isn't locked on to the Lava, but I'm literally already back to another Tesla. He's gonna go Mario the back probably. Let's go Delivery on these Lava Pups, and then just go e Spirit to be safe. And my Miner got a lot of damage on his tower, and my Tesla is still alive actually. So I can literally just go for a Rocket, and just go for a Log, and that should be GG. I think Dark Prince might connect, okay it won't. Just think of him the well played, because this guy always loses to me whether I use Inferno Tesla, so it's pretty funny. So I'll probably just cut into the next match guys, when I find one. So I actually found our next match here against AKA Ray Supremo. Just to make sure I'm recording guys. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this guy actually runs RG Valk with like lightning. I think I've actually faced him before. Honestly, it's not too bad of a matchup, you just have to be careful because obviously you can go RG Lightning and single or you can go like RG Valk unless you like you overcommit too much. So I usually don't rocket the RG in the back. Like, I always tell you guys if you're even on Elixir and they go RG the back, you always want to rocket it. But in this case, he this guy uses a lot of like I guess semi tanks or like tanky troops for his RG. So I usually don't want to rock it. I feel like he's going for the minor chip and single, and obviously going to rock on this tower to apply pressure, I guess. So let's see, he does go for a failed NATO, so it does give my minor a lot of damage. So I think that'll put, put me in like a solid damage lead. 
So it's gonna go East Spirit at the back here, and I'm probably gonna log this just for the chip damage. Unless he goes RG in the back. Okay, so it does go RG in the back. I think this time around, I'm actually gonna rock the RG. Because I know he's not back to Valk yet, so it can't go like Valk in the in front of it. And if he does, then you won't have enough for lightning because it is single elixir still. So he should just have to start Prince Charge unless he wants to support this. It looks like he's gonna go for Ewas here. So he's gonna go Tesla a little bit low here and let's go for a low log. I do want to keep my Tesla alive. And I also know he's not back to lightning yet. Okay, a pretty aggressive play. I think it's kind of good on his part. Baby Dragon does lock my tower, but as long as the Valk dies, I should be okay here. Baby Dragon will get like four, like I think he got like four to five belches on my tower, but that's completely fine. I do have a solid damage lead in both lanes. So I guess if he goes like RG again opposite lane, either lane, I'll probably just gonna rocket it or just go for the miner in that one lane. So it just depends. So let's see, he goes for bar barrel, so let's go for skeletons here. And then I'm probably just gonna go for miner. And then let's see what he's gonna do. He goes for cage here. So I guess well played on his primitive cage, but I can just go for log just to give my miner an extra two hits, which I feel like is okay. So let's go for Dark Prince. Okay, looks like he's gonna go for RG here. So I kinda wanna block his lightning. Because even if he lightnings, he'll lightning my Dark Prince is shield off only. And my skeleton my skeleton is also alive. So I think that's a good play conserving the Dark Prince's shield. So my Dark Prince isn't isn't like a complete waste when it comes down the field. So let's see, he does have Ewas coming down, but I think Dark Prince should clean it up. i probably just go for e, uh, e Spirit on this. Okay, he goes for Valk here, so I'm definitely gonna go, gonna go for Minor Rocket. I feel like he's gonna give me the value. I think I'm also gonna hit the bar barrel, so that's a lot of value in my opinion. In my opinion, I feel like he's probably gonna go RG here soon once the cage pops. So this is gonna go for Tesla. I know if he goes for RG, he won't be back to lightning right away. So this is gonna go for delivery. Okay, he goes for a really aggressive lightning, so I just go for E Spirit just to kill the Rage Dragon faster. And then we are in 300 damage lead, so I probably just go for minor skeletons. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's playing Ewas right now, which is fine. Definitely not gonna rock at the half dead Ewas. So just gonna go for Dark Prince in the back. Let's see, I'm probably just gonna log delivery just to clean up his push. Go for East Spirit just to cycle, and then probably just gonna minor, minor. Just gonna wait first. Go for I mean, go for log just to kill his bar barrel. Yeah, right, perfect. So if I actually went minor, then he probably would have powered caught with his cage. So I'd rather not do that. He also goes for um, Invalk. So if he goes Archie in front of this, he just give me a lot of rocket value. I don't think he should. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna go for Log and just go for Miner right now. I definitely don't want him to RG. But it looks like he's gonna be smart and try and RG to the side or like in the middle, I guess, to avoid my rocket. But I'm definitely gonna rocket still if he pisses anything on the field to support the RG. So let's see. Um, I'm not gonna rocket just yet. I'm just gonna actually instead just go for delivery. Dark Prince Tesla. Okay, he also misses my misses my Tesla with the lightning. I guess he maybe would have thought I would have played Tesla like on top of the RG or something. So again, it's gonna go for uh, minor E Spirit just to apply pressure. There's not really much I can do here. I can't really go minor anywhere else because he's just gonna um, NATO it. So he does go for his classic play of RG and then Valk in front. But I'm not. I don't think he's back to lightning yet. Okay, looks like he is, but RG's already dead. So again, he goes for lightning and Dragon's going for rocket. It is a six for six for six trade. I do miss his cage, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. I'm only a minor hit away, and then a log rocket from winning. Let's go for minor log. I've seen one hit. It looks like it won't get that hit. So I can do it for rocket, and that should be GG. Once you're pretty nice putting into RG, I'll usually say that most RG decks are my matchup. You just gotta be careful in single. Make sure you don't overcommit, and then you should have the win in the bag. Alright, looks like we're actually facing a checkmate from Quantum North. He is pretty low on trophies. Uh, not really too sure where I uh, know actually I actually know what he's running. He's running 2.6, I think, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it looks like he goes for Ice Gone Wogs. The stuff is 2.6. Again, this is always like a highly asked matchup. I feel like probably like one of my top five most asked comments or like about matchups like how do you beat lava? I was like how do you beat lava or like how do you beat golem? And then there's this next match is how do you beat 2.6? Honestly, I would say 2.6 is a pretty easy matchup to be honest. As long as you don't give them like five hockets in single, you should be okay here. So I think like one tip like I can always give you guys is to always learn is to never play your miner if they have ice spirit. If 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 because if they have ice spirit in cycle, they can literally just go ice spirit. And with the Ice Spirit having a buff, they can literally just go Skeletons or Ice Golem, and then your Miner's pretty much dead. So I feel like what I've learned against like all 2.6 players is to never play, um, never play my Miner when they have, when they have Ice Spirit. So it looks like he did waste his Ice Spirit, so I can go for Miner. Even though my Miner didn't get a lot of hits because of his cannon, I feel like again, in this match against 2.6, any like any chip damage that they get with their Ice Spirit or like Fireball or Hog 
or vice ver or like vice versa for me for my rockets, logs, or miner is crucial. And I think you guys will see that. I think usually with Inferno, it's kind of harder because they can outcycle you, but with Tesla, they really can't. Even though it's a 2.6 cycle versus a 3.0, even if they outcycle your Tesla, you have rockets, and like vice versa, if they outcycle your rocket, you, you should have Tesla in hand. And if you don't, well, that's just really unfortunate. But again, guys, even if they get one hog hit, it's not the end of the world. Usually, I would say if they have Inferno, then it's the end of the world. If, yeah, if you, have Infer if you have Inferno and they get a hog hit, it's pretty bad. But I feel like against Tesla, it's okay here. Because always going Tesla in, in like kind of high in the middle will always bring over the hog. Unless you like fat finger it to the left or to the right. Depending on which lane the hog comes into. But again, I'm just going to go for minor skellies. I know he's not back to hog yet. So he's going to be forced to go musky here. And then we're also heading to that, into double elixir. So I feel like that should be better for us. So then go for e-spirit here. Okay, let's go for deliverance musky. And then go uh, Tesla kind of... Kind of to the side a little bit because I didn't have it in cycle right away, and I also didn't want that musketeer locking on my Tesla. So let's see. I think he might. Not, okay, looks like he's not gonna let that delivery get a hit. So I actually go minor. I feel like going minor in the front, going prelog is very, very good against 2.6 because I feel like it may be predictable in most cases, but I feel like you always get minor damage that way unless they predict, predict with cannon. So looks like he's gonna go for a hog in the back. I feel like that's a little bit too early to be honest. I can really just go for a Tesla to bring over the hog. And by him doing that, he's not able to really focus on like a solid hog push. Meanwhile, he can't also ignore a miner. And you can see by him going hog in the back, he let my miner and delivery get a hit on his tower. So he doesn't go for e-spirit here. I guess he didn't want the king power activation, which is fine. If he does go hog opposite, again guys, I can just rocket this. He will go for musketeer log. I definitely don't want him to fireball, so let's go for log of my own. And then I just go miner, e-spirit at the back. I know he's going to... I know he's play skeleton, and he did, so I guess we'll play on his, his end. But then you guys can see that my miner is getting a lot of chip damage. And he's also getting desperate with the fireball log on my naked Tesla. Not even hitting anything besides the Tesla. So you see that we have a really solid damage lead against Checkmate. There's not really much he can do here. His only damage that he's gotten really is just from the log chip. So I just go for minor e spirit in a weird position. Maybe I'll get some damage. He looks like he's going to go full out trying to protect the miner from... I guess try to protect his tower from my miner. So I can go for Prince of Skeletons. He does go for Musketeer in the back. So I can go for Dark Prince. If he logs this, I can just rock it. Okay, please don't go Ice Golem. This isn't going to work. I can literally just rock it. Okay, looks like he won't Ice Golem. That would be pretty dumb if he did. So I can go for Miner E-Spirit once again. And you guys see that he doesn't really have a good cycle for my Miner. Like his only real answers like as of now are his Skeletons because he wastes his Ice Spirit. So I can literally just go Delivery. Do catch his Ice Spirit and then go E-Spirit to clean everything up. And at this point, there's not really much you can do here. We're just 50 seconds left. I can just check my first rocket. And let's see, he's probably gonna go hog here. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, this isn't gonna work. I don't know what he's doing. I can just go log delivery and go uh, test in the middle just to bring everything over. Go skeletons. Looks like he's gonna try to protect his uh, musketeer, but literally by wasting his skeletons, he can't really, he, again, he doesn't have a good response to my miner. So miner is getting a lot of chip damage and hog is pretty much already dead. He does go for ice golem and musketeer, but I can literally just go Tesla once again to bring everything over. Let's see, let's go delivery, let's go for log on the musketeer to kill it. The hog's already dead, so I can literally just go for minor skeletons in the back. And even if he does hog, I'm laying back to another Tesla. So you can see that he kind of barely even touched my tower to be honest. The only damage that he got was really from fireball logs and like, I don't think he even got a hog hit. And that's pretty much what, like a 2700 damage lead? And he does give up. So I'm pretty nice winning against checkmate. And I'll probably just see you guys in the next match. Let's see what you found our next match here against uh, Tony from Amnesia HZ Italy. I think that's what ITA stands for anyways. So I'm pretty sure this guy runs Hog uh, 2.6, like he runs Hog Fireball. But he is running Fire Spirit, so this could be with Earthquake. I really hope it's, I really hope it's not. So does he go for Delivery, does he go for the classic Hog 2.6 play. It actually looks like it is, so I need to go for East Spirit's uh, Skeletons. I do mess up my Skeletons, which is really unfortunate, but luckily I kind of had the perfect hand to defend his a push. So he does go Fire Spear here, so I'm going to be forced by Dark Prince. That is going to put me down 3 Elixir. So I wouldn't be surprised if he went Hog. Like, he's probably going to go like Skeletons and then Hog to bring back my Dark Prince. And I really don't have a good uh, answer for this. So I have to go for Delivery Log. He goes for Log of his own, so I think that will give his Hog one more hit. So honestly, I know er I know Earthquake got like a nerf. But I'm not really sure if at, if at this point it's comebackable. He's already up so much damage. So gonna have to see here. 
Uh, looks like he's just gonna go for uh, Ice Golem, Fire Spirit, so I go for uh, E Spirit to block and go for Skeletons. I know a minute just passed by, guys, but I was kind of doing something, so I just had to cut the video for a little bit. Or cut, or cut the clip, I mean. So, we are still on 800 damage, so I can just go for Miner um, for the chip damage. He does play Hoggy Q, so that is 8 Elixir, but he somehow retarded my Miner back on his Ice Golem. So, Miner was still locked in his tower, but not not still not as much damage as I wanted to. Now we're down 700, so I need to go for Log here. I know he's gonna definitely gonna try to outcycle me, so I'm probably just gonna have to play my Rocket on his Hog, which would be a minus 2 trade, unless I can cycle back to her Tesla. So actually looks like I will, so just go for Miner. I think Fire Spirit won't jump, so I have to go for Tesla for this Hog. I don't think Miner will get any damage, it might, I might get lucky and just get 2 hits, which is okay. But every, every time we get the Miner damage, he did gets more and more Hog hits, so I need to go for a Rocket at 0 Elixir. I like I don't think he needed to do this just to catch up in damage. There's not really any real point in it, it's just literally just chugging six looks here on the field. So he does go for Musketeer here. So we just now we just need to be careful. He's probably gonna go earthquake. Okay, so I'm gonna go for delivery, log, skeletons. I really hope this is fully counters a hog. Please. Okay, so I'm going that fully counter on a hog. He's also gonna go to cannon, so I think go for minor rocket. I know he's not back to hog yet. So I go for minor in the back. I know he's gonna, he doesn't have a good response. He does go hog, but I think it's gonna do anything. My Tesla is in a not in the anti-earthquake position, so I have to go for East Spirit Log. But he chose to ignore my miner, and just like that guy's, I'm back in the game. I I can't really say I'm surprised that I just chucked nine electron on the bridge and that did something. But now we're just gonna be careful here. We can still lose. So I'm just gonna go for miner just to apply pressure. Hopefully he doesn't catch this. Okay, looks like he's not going to. He's gonna have to log this, or is my, my miner's gonna get a lot of damage. Let's see. Looks like. He does push it off, but Miner does get so much damage that I can literally just go for a log. And I think at this point, if he goes hog, let's go Tesla high. He does earthquake it, but I can literally just go for Dark Prince. East Spirits. I think Dark. Uh, yeah, hog will get one hit, but I think at this point, I can literally just go for a rocket and a log, and that should be GG. So I'm going pretty nice against 2.6, I guess with earthquake. Not really sure how he came back from that, but I'll just take the win, and I'll probably just see you guys in the last match of the vid. Okay, so it looks like we actually found our last match here against uh, Hasiel. I actually did face him before, like I think like a couple hours ago before I was recording. So I think he's still running the same deck. So just gotta be careful here, just gonna go for Log for his Fiery Spirit. So I think this time around, I know he's definitely running the Minor Control. I know he's gonna be a lot more aggressive. So he's gonna try and predict his Minor, looks like, we do. looks like we do. So he was pretty aggressive with just going 8 Electro on the field. So just gonna go mine it back here just to test out the waters, I guess, see what he's, see what he's gonna do. So he does go for a uh, guards delivery, so I guess it's an even trade. So I can just go for long these guards. So I think in this matchup, I think it's the exact matchup I actually lost against him. So I'm definitely gonna be careful for next time. I'm definitely gonna hold on my delivery. Hopefully I get down it fast enough in time and hold my East Spirit uh, for his miners. So it's gonna East Spirit right now. Let's see. He goes for log here, so I'm go Dark Prince in the back. I'm just gonna go minor of my own just to apply pressure. I definitely don't want him to go minor. So it looks like by doing that, he's gonna be forced to play Valk here. So definitely gonna take the value that he's giving me. He's gonna have to answer with the delivery probably. So I do hit his Valk and his delivery. So he shouldn't really have any counter push value going. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes minor. Okay, so he goes for minor guards, but I can just go for log and just go for East Spirits. Okay, I think that Fire Spirit might connect. I mean, it looks like it will. So that's really unfortunate. If it didn't, then I probably would have won the game. But I don't go for Miner in the back. I know he doesn't have a good response to this. So he's being forced to log. Which will retarget my, his, I guess, my Miner on his two towers, which is fine. But I do get a lot of damage. And with just a 600 damage lead, as long as I don't let his Miners connect every single time with, like, Miner Poison. Which is probably going to do in, like, a double elixir coming up. I should be okay here. So, let's see. Um, I know he's going to go Miner Poison. So, let's see. I'm going to go Dark Prince in the back preemptively. Maybe I'll catch his Miner. It looks like I won't. He also goes for poison, so definitely go for log to retard the miner back onto my dark prince. And I do, I do have a pretty nice hand to go miner rockets, but I'm not sure if he's gonna let me. So I'm just gonna go rocket now, and I'll probably just play, play my miner in whatever spot. A lot of you guys always ask me, Nate, like, like where would you place your miners? Like, do you do it on purpose? And to be honest, I probably, just, I probably, I'm probably as clueless as you guys are. I really don't know where to place my miners. I just place them in opposite places or opposite spots, and just hope they connect. You know, that may, that's, that may be sound like that may sound pretty bad considering I am a top 50 player with minor. Or like, not overall, guys, but like, I do have like a finish like a top 50 with minor. 
But to be honest, whenever I whenever I throw my rocks in miners, like usually they're not calculated. I'm just I usually just pray and hope that it works. That may sound pretty dumb, but you know guys, it is how I operate and it's how I play. So like, what can you really say? So he is pretty aggressive with the minor poisons, but I, did, I think at this point I can just go for a minor rocket. Even if he catches with his guards, I think I'm basically just, yeah I'm basically just a uh, rocket away from winning. So as long as his miner doesn't do uh, 500 damage or no, not 500 damage, as long as the miner doesn't do 1200 damage, I should be okay here. So just gonna go delivery in the back to catch the miner. It looks like I sort of do, but I can just go for log to knock it back. And the rocket, the shoe GG. So this will probably be the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and probably the last part will probably be like a nice video, so like part four. Anyways, guys, it's been Nate, and I will see you guys later.